Tokabe is an old Osage translation for the color blue. The wallpaper is supposed to replicate prairie grass. The plexiglass on the ceiling we do as a representation of wind and clouds. We wanted things that were important to all Native people to be important in this establishment. The hands represent the three villages of the Osage. That's something that uh, we wanted to kind of be our mark um, since I am Osage. I was sitting at the Jacobs household one day and they have an Osage Pendleton blanket hanging up and um, it had the hands on there. And we wanted that to be a reflection of where my family's from, where these recipes have come from, where this establishment came from. We wanted people to ask about it because we want to create a conversation with people when they're in here. We're different from other restaurants where people come in, they just want good food. We want to serve good food, we want it to be delicious, we want it to be quality, we want it to be consistent. But at the same time, we understand that we're representing much, much more than that. It's a cuisine that, you know, it has its roots before any other cuisine here in the nation had. We have a lot of people that are familiar with it that come in and are really excited about it, or people that have never had it before and come in and are really interested in trying it. Just educating people on, you know, the, the food, the tribes, you know, the nations that we have all come from. The fry bread is Osage, Ben Jacobs' grandma's recipe that was, you know, passed down. And so now there's a connection with the food. You're breaking bread with each other and you're sharing something that has that quality that reminds you of something that hits home to a lot of people. Food all brings us together and that's like I think my philosophy for here is bringing food, bringing people together. Having fundraisers here, having gatherings here, having meetings here, whatever it may be, we wanted this to be a space that Native people could come in um, and feel like it was their own. Um, but then we didn't want to separate and make it a Native only. You know, we wanted to bring everyone together and show people that are outside the Native community the positive aspects of the community. Native people are starting to take the reins and create the future for themselves that, that is deserved. We understand that supporting one another is only gonna help create those opportunities that are much needed um, you know, for Indian people. And as we grow, we wanna really um, be able to go out there and be able to help individuals, whether it's you know, through microfinancing, through direct partnership, or just through educating individuals that they have the ability to create their own opportunities in life. Our idea is to grow and to expand and to open more restaurants. You know, being able to offer that support towards our, uh, towards our employees and uh, giving them that confidence, you just you feel proud. We want to build strong leaders that can go into these communities and educate themselves, educate their tribe and their community to then form a stronger foundation to then better themselves. Since I've been here, I've actually learned how to be more open with people, been a bit more open with myself, and just being totally a better person that this place has made me. Native businesses being successful, that's the most important part, is it shows our children that we can do things also, that we can go out and we can open things and we can be proud of what we do and we can create successful businesses. I look around and I see people sitting down, laughing, enjoying the food. It's like, oh, that's the reason why I'm here. I like those faces, I like that smile. Know that not every idea is gonna be successful that you have, but it only takes one idea for uh, you to change the rest of your life. <laughs>